Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video with your host, Rising Oblivion. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about all things Final Fantasy. We have a new update in regards to the Final Fantasy 16 demo and some more news regarding Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth development. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about that here today. Normally, I don't cover um, Final Fantasy stuff, but this is stuff I'm really excited about. And my channel has always been JRPG related. It just so happens to be that Persona and Mega Ten content's kind of what caught on, but this is still games that I'm very passionate about and love playing. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's start with Final Fantasy 16. So Final Fantasy 16, we have been expecting there to have been a demo. I believe they even promised there was going to be a demo for Final Fantasy 16. There has been some new developments. It appears that a demo now shows up on the PlayStation Store if you're browsing via mobile. People have been able to find the Final Fantasy 16 demo actually placed there and looking through the store code the Final Fantasy 16 demo is in fact there on the store and this is very close to the release date as we all know it releases later this month June 22nd is when Final Fantasy 16 will be releasing everywhere so it makes sense for there to be a demo pretty close to you know the release a couple weeks away that actually makes sense but we might even have some details as to when we think this demo is actually going to be released there's going to be a final fantasy 16 pre-launch event that is going to be happening june 11th so just about 10 days away or i guess uh, nine days away or whatever but we are going to be getting that event june 11th which a lot of people speculate that is going to be when this demo is going to be releasing probably something that's going to be kind of just it was supposed to be like shadow dropped during the pre-launch event we don't have any details on how big it is or how long it is or whatever but more than likely it is going to be something that they are just trying to make sure it's on the store the playstation store typically has stuff there a week or two before it actually is going to be dropping like a demo or something like that a lot of times just to make sure that it works in the store it's ready to go they can you know edit all the stuff in there the description all that whatnot a lot of times it's a couple weeks before it actually is supposed to be there so it makes sense that this launch event is going to be happening june 11th they've already started having the ball rolling on getting that demo on the playstation store so that seems to be kind of what we have in terms of development for this demo which i think is really cool june 11th the game comes out the 22nd that's just 11 days before the game comes out I personally think that's pretty cool. We're going to be able to play the demo, you know, a week or two before the actual game comes out. So people can get their hands on it, figure out if they like it or not. This is a perfect time, especially if you're kind of on the fence on whether or not you want to pre-order this game or just get it at all in general. The demo is a pretty good idea for this. Final Fantasy VII Remake, I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but the entire, like, first sort of level blowing up the first uh, reactor, that was the entire demo for that game before it came out and it was a couple weeks before it released so this actually makes perfect sense for something them to do for final fantasy 16 it looks like that is going to be something that we're going to be getting so fingers crossed that uh it's a pretty good demo and it's lengthy please be lengthy i'm gonna probably stream it here on my youtube channel and all of final fantasy 16 if you're still on the fence you can watch that and get a little more clarity and whether or not it's something you actually want to dig your you know hands into i guess and our next bit of news here is in regards to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth development. This is a picture here that was on the Final Fantasy VII or Final Fantasy Twitter, I guess, which is where they've been giving a lot of news and whatnot from this. But this is a little bit of news in regards to how the development is going. It says, question, how is the development progressing on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Answer, so they put the question and answer there. Development is progressing smoothly and according to plan. We are currently working on nailing down a release date in big green, you know, like radiation text for the game Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth producer I'm not gonna try and say his name but regardless we have now some news at least in regards to how that game is going I think a lot of people expected nothing until Final Fantasy 16 kind of died down a bit for them to talk about this but the fact that they did talk about this at all is pretty nice and if you didn't know what this is this is basically part two of the Final Fantasy 7 remake I guess line of games there to conclude the whole remake of Final Fantasy 7, right? Rebirth is going to be part two of that, which we were expecting to have at the end of this year, which is good. According to what this is saying, the development is smoothly and according to plan, so we shouldn't be expecting a delay. Now, I'm not going to say 
do not like go 100% on that feeling. There could be a delay. They've delayed a lot of stuff in the past, so do not expect this to be a 100% foolproof thing here just because they're saying it. Some events could occur in a month or two from now that could slow down the progress of it. Like I said, we are expecting a release date towards the end of this year, but we'll have to wait and see. Which to think about is actually pretty crazy. We're getting Final Fantasy 16 and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. We had Crisis Core towards the end of last year. But this year is kind of loaded for Final Fantasy fans. I mean, we're getting 16 and Part 2 of the Final Fantasy 7, you know, remaster, I guess. I think it's supposed to be like a trilogy, but we're getting Part 2 of that. So we're having a big Final Fantasy game towards the middle of this year and a big Final Fantasy game at the end of this year. So this year is loaded in terms of Final Fantasy content. Like... Let me down in the comment section below which one are you more excited for because it's kind of hard for me to choose. I know pretty much all the story for Final Fantasy 7 so I'm leaning more towards 16 because it's a brand new experience. We're getting a lot more in terms of just Final Fantasy kind of lore with the crystals. We're also getting these crazy human hybrid summons which has never been done before. So we're getting brand new gameplay mechanics as well. It's a brand new engine. Tetsuya Nomura wasn't the lead on this, so there's a whole lot of new things to expect from Final Fantasy 16. so that's why I'm leaning more on that. However, Rebirth, I do not think is going to be a bad game. I really enjoyed Final Fantasy 7 Remake, I also enjoyed the OG game as well, but either way, Final Fantasy is kind of Final Fantasy for me. I end up loving them no matter what. Even the bad ones, I wouldn't say are necessarily horrible. You know, they're still decent in my book. Crisis Core was amazing. I loved playing the Crisis Core remake. I also played the OG a bit as well, but the Crisis Core remake was really fun. I got that for PS5 and played the hell out of that game. It was so enjoyable and so fun. But yes, let me know down in the comment section below which one are you more excited for? I think. 16 has to be the one for me both of these things are good news and i'm glad that they're at least doing a little bit here to talk about rebirth as well because i think a lot of people were wondering about that and i think this is a good way to go about doing it don't give us a super long teaser that's kind of like spoiling stuff for us just give us a straight up post tell us yep it's going well we'll see you guys whenever it's out we'll see you there whenever we're ready to go i think this is the right way of doing things unlike what Square Enix has done in the past where they give us years to go off of with just like one small snippet video from like two years ago showing hardly anything, right? That really leaves us in a questionable place of not really knowing what is going on. We know you guys announced the game, we don't know much at all what's happening, but at least with this, it's a sequel to the first part of the remake. We kind of know what to expect already, right? And we know what the original game was as well, but this is nice. It's, it's a good thing that they're giving us this instead of super big spoilery stuff. I'm already trying to not spoil myself for Final Fantasy 16. A lot of people have like hour long demos out there. I've only watched like 15 minutes tops of like actual true gameplay because like I said, I'm not trying to spoil myself and I plan to stream the whole game here on the channel. So if that's something you want to watch, subscribe to the channel. I'll probably also be playing the demo here as well. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. If you want more Final Fantasy stuff, please subscribe, like the video. I love covering this stuff, and I plan to play them in the future. If not, you can check out me playing the Yuffie DLC. I have that as a playlist on my sort of homepage of my YouTube channel. I also have Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, just the base game there as well. So check those out if you're curious. But um, I'll see you all very soon.